Hi, I'm Jason Stahl along with Nadine Bata, and we're counting down the top 10 feature stories of 2023. Different from hard-hitting, time-sensitive news, these were feature-length stories on people, technology, trends, and more. So let's dive into the top 10 feature stories of 2023. Number 10 is, changes in insurer behavior may create a rough ride. Barrett Smith talked about how collision repairers have experienced additional pressures by insurers to reduce claim settlements relative to repairs and procedures in parts and materials being denied, forcing shops to make necessary changes to ensure their viability. Number nine is feeling the pressure? Follow the seven E's. Another gem from Barrett Smith, this article pointed out how auto insurers were hemorrhaging profits and thus clamping down on claims costs, and that following the seven E's expose edify, enrage, empathize, empower, equip, and encourage might be the solution for collision repairs to fight this trend. Number eight is welding on a hybrid or electric vehicle. Dirk Fuchs, CEO and founder of Electric Mobility Consulting, advised that as more and more hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles roll into auto body shops, there are considerations to take when welding, such as remembering to disconnect both the 12-volt battery and the high-voltage battery service disconnect. Number seven is EV batteries, handling, disposal, and storage. Dirk Fuchs once again grabbed readers' attention by discussing key considerations for the proper and safe handling, storage, disposal, and recycling of EV batteries. Number six is auto body consolidation update. What will 2023 bring? Laura Gay, owner of Consolidation Coach, predicted that the bull market of consolidation was expected to continue in 2023, even amidst high inflation, rising interest rates, and other challenges. Number five is Auto Body Refinish, Paint Prep Fundamentals. Carl Wilson, who has over 30 years of experience as a painter and technical rep, pointed out how nothing is faster or more profitable in the world of refinish than accuracy, doing it right the first time. Number four is in-car technology, new challenges for collision shops. Brian Heron, president and CEO of Opus IVS, talked about how both electric vehicles and gas-powered vehicles are presenting new challenges today for collision and auto repair shops, particularly when it comes to advanced driver assistance systems. Number three is, what are collision repairs' obligations to insurers? Barrett Smith discussed how many collision repairers often believe they must comply with insurers' demands, but when asked why they believe this, few of them can give good answers. Number two is the Great Awakening, Collision Repairs Taking a Stand. Barrett Smith discussed how many repairers, confronted with significantly increasing demands with added investments of time and financial resources being underpaid or even denied by insurers, are now taking a stand, realizing that they cannot conduct business the way that they used to. And the number one feature story of 2023 is Hard Work, Hustle, and Determination, When Auto Body Techs Rise to the Top. It was me right here that profiled Juan Carlos Gasca Perez and how his ambition and drive led him to becoming the co-owner of his own body shop with a huge social media following. So there you have it. We'll see you tomorrow when we count down the top 10 product launches of 2023.